Engaging commentary is an essential aspect of any YouTube video, let alone a WWE Games Universe mode. Strong visuals may catch your attention, but they alone probably won't keep your attention. Think about it. Would you sit through 20 minutes of this? This matchup has been so intense, Dolph Ziggler, Cesaro, they're just on fire right now. Oh my god, a super kick in midair. No way, that was holy cow, guys. Did you see that? It's over. No, you wouldn't unless you're trying to cure insomnia. Volume and enthusiasm are key components in providing commentary, but I doubt that you'd sit through 20 minutes of this either. Oh my god, a super- Oh my holy cow, guys, did you see the- Oh my- Oh my- Oh my god, that was- Oh my god, it was- Oh my god. To strike the perfect balance, you not only need to project yourself well, but you also need to stay on topic without going overboard. The best way to dub a universe mode is by calling the action as it unfolds. If you want your project to sound even somewhat professional, you have to act naturally. The thought of rambling for 20 to 30 minutes without a script might sound daunting at first, but really it isn't that difficult. Wrestling commentary is a mixture of acting and reacting. Video game footage in a YouTube video is hardly the most realistic setting to work with, but if you can sell the action as if it's actually happening, you can create a stronger suspension of disbelief. If someone hits a devastating move, react accordingly, but don't force emotions that aren't there. Fake enthusiasm is just as bad as no enthusiasm. Oh my god, what a super kick. Holy cow, he basically kicked his head off. Good lord, that was incredible. Be aware of your place in the video. You are both a narrator and a bystander. Pretend that you're actually in the arena watching the match unfold for the first time. Remember that a video game wrestler can't convey the same emotions that a real life wrestler can. Even if you let the AI tell the story in the ring, it's your job to emphasize details that the game can't. For example, Superstar A has a leg injury, but his finishing move is a frog splash. The game won't tell us why Superstar A isn't using the frog splash. You need to tell us. Commentary isn't just play-by-play. -play. It adds an extra layer of depth to the narrative. Anyone can call a suplex when they see it, but if you can bring your audience inside the minds of these athletes while they're competing, your end result will be all the better for it. While you're at it, Try to define yourself as a character. You are playing the role of commentator, so how does your commentator act? Does he call everything down the middle? Or does he generally cater towards heroes or villains? Are you a proud character who ignores any flaws? Or are you willing to insult yourself to make a joke or put over the talent? Regardless of what kind of a show you run, you are the one who we spend the most time with. And if we aren't invested in you, we won't be invested in your show. That's a lot to try to process while you're in the middle of a video, and it's easy to get lost or caught on tangents when you don't have a script. Only with practice will you eventually reach a point where you're satisfied with your audio. It took me over two years to reach a point where I actually considered my commentary to be any good, and even now I can still find flaws. No matter how good you are, your first videos will always look like crap as time moves on. But here's my advice. Make a list of bullet points before you start recording. Think of topics related to the characters that you can discuss during slow parts of a match or if you run out of ideas. What is this person's style? How and why do they act this way? As you make more videos, you can reflect on the history of this person in your series. Has he or she won a championship? Who has this person feuded with before? And how does this guy compare to that guy following their feud? Is this guy on a winning streak? A losing streak? or has his performance been inconsistent? You can talk about virtually anything in this regard, and it doesn't have to be completely serious either. I recently made a joke about Tyler Breeze's sex life after the crowd started chanting sexual chocolate at his opponent. Honestly, you can say just about anything as long as you're not blatantly trying to deeply offend people at every turn. Commentary isn't the be-all end-all of a show, but it's the defining factor of you as a broadcaster. Not only are you playing a character, but you are also portraying a side of yourself. Even if you craft a fake personality that remains exclusive to your character, it's still something that you are producing for everyone to see, and that in turn reflects how people will view you as a person. Some people might not understand that it's just an act, while others will gain interest in the person behind the curtain because of the act. Either way, this is your platform to express yourself, so use it to the fullest. Embrace it, invest in it, and stick with it. Once you've done that, you've already succeeded.